welcome to the University of Oregon Women in Computer Science video blog. I'm your host, Kiki Protzman, and today we're going to talk about computational thinking. So, what is computational thinking, you might ask? That's a good question. The answer is, the definition varies, but basically, it comes down to two concepts, abstraction and automation. Abstraction means that we can take an idea that holds true regardless of details and then automate it or reuse it over and over with different sets of inputs. Though Jeanette Wing is credited with writing the paper that kind of gave birth to the computational thinking movement, the CT team at Google has done huge things lately in the way of developing educational curriculum for grades 6 through 12 in California. The University of Oregon Women of Computer Science would like to assist in this effort by bringing computational thinking to elementary school students. To do that, we're going to use Google's computational thinking model, which is a combination of basically four ideas. Four main concepts. One, the decomposition of larger ideas into smaller, more simplified ones. Two, pattern recognition. Ooh, there's one. Three, generalization and abstraction. Four, algorithm design. We're going to take these ideas and present them in a simplified manner to help lay the building blocks for computer scientists of the future. If you'd like to share your ideas on this or any other UO Women in Computer Science video blog, feel free to contact me, Kiki Protzman at kiki at cs.uoregon.edu. Thanks for watching. Squish in the frame, squish.